Well, hi there, everybody. I'm now with Michelle Ryan, back on the set of uh, Zombies, I can't speak, Cockneys versus Zombies, even. Um, Michelle, do you want to tell us a little bit about your character and how you got involved in the film? I play Katie Ellis, who is the older cousin to Andy and Terry, and she's a very fierce character. Um, she takes no rubbish from anyone, and um, she can come across as quite harsh at times. But then as the film progresses, you realise that there is a softness and caring side to her but you know there's no time for flirting there's no time for messing about she wants to go in do the job and and keep it clean <laughs> yeah, i hear that you're the brains behind the operation as well so well she she gets involved because her cousins need her and then their contacts are useless so she kind of has to step up otherwise they're going to die mm -hmm. so she does um sort of step into survival mode and it's kind of relief when she hits hits the oap's home because that's where alan is ray the granddad character and he can kind of kind of take the the leadership the leadership over really okay cool and i assume you've had your fair share of zombie killing as well has there been a favorite moment that you've had or um i think i think the character wise when katie takes out a zombie sort of um blindly shoots shoots the zombie that's that's pretty cool because she's not even looking like in her peripheral vision she, she can see him and she just takes him out um and then i guess sort of the the being up on the roof was kind of fun kicking the zombie off the roof um and then yeah, just generally, generally taking them down. Generally zombie killing, I like yes. that. Is there a favourite weapon of choice that you've got that you could use to kill these zombies with? Um, I like the samurai sword. I think there's something very cool about that. I mean, Katie is sort of uses the Glock more often than the machine guns or the samurai sword, but I think there's something very, very um, sleek about the samurai sword. Excellent, nice one. Um, and so British film at the moment seems to be thriving. Is this something that you think that's it's going to be more of um, shooting in Britain itself, but actually British films being made here as well? I hope so. I think that um, there's so much talent coming up all the time and, you know, you have directors who are, who are sort of making waves over in the States and they're opening up that, that sort of tunnel, that sort of, you know, that, that gap and um, opening up the, the way for everyone else, really. Um, and it's sort of like this film, when I met with Matthias, the director, and the producer, James, we sat down and, and talked about movies for an hour mm -hmm. and I was like, yes, these guys know what they're talking about and... Um, James was like, whatever you know about the title or what it what it conjures up, ignore that because we're going for something different. And I think that's what we are achieving, which is something that is, you know, different, slightly different to what people might imagine. But it's still ultimately a gritty British film that has, you know, the family heart at its core, really. Excellent. And obviously this is an, a Cockney film, but it's, it's got the links to the EastEnders that you've done before. Do, have there been any sort of... Um, any colleagues from the EastEnders set that have come down to see how you're getting on and, and to be involved in the film as well as maybe cameo in it? No, it, it, it's actually, there are no EastEnders references because you realise that EastEnders was very much its own world and that this is much more the world of, I think, that Alan, you know, knows of, which is the real East End. So it's, it's um, there aren't actually any crossovers. <laughs> and what's it like working with people like, like Alan and Anna Blackman as well? It's amazing. It's, um, and Georgina and, oh, um, it's great working with them. They really... They're such characters, and, and Honor is, is so funny and um, sharp, and Georgina's lovely, and they're just great. All of the older actors, you know, you talk to them, they've worked with Ridley Scott and Ken Loach, and, you know, you hear, hear their sort of, you know, what their different techniques are like, and you just, you just, you know, just sitting chatting to them, you, you know, you pick up so much. Yeah. And, um, Honor's, Honor's great. I just love, I love her voice. <laughs> yeah. No, I met her earlier and it was, it was just an honour to meet uh, Honor. Yeah. So uh, brilliant. Oh, it's an, also an honour to meet you. So thank oh, you very much for your time you. today. And I can't wait to see the film when it comes out later thank next year. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Thank you.